DSA to, to poke fun at people who were take shots at you and, and talk about a good cause as well? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I ne no, uh, necessarily poked fun at particularly people who, who poked fun at me, but obviously uh, hearing, yeah, hearing criticism my whole career, whole life, uh, part of it, and obviously it's been, it was pretty heated and has, has been recently. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Not only that, I naturally like to talk and uh, <laughs> and so being able to talk talk it in that manner for good was it was a great fit. So. <laughs>
Even last week, they heard, Philly just got blown out by the Niners. They're going to be upset and angry. It's a division rival. They're going to break the Cowboys. No. Blew them out, too. So now it shifts. You know, that the, the goalpost just keeps getting pushed. You just keep, just, just got to move that thing. You know, first it was, you're beating bad teams. Then it was, well, Seattle was a good team, a winning team. They were 6-5. and five, But after you beat them, they're 6-6, six and six, so they don't count. Okay, fine. Then it was, okay, Philly, who was once considered the best team or one of the best teams in the league, they're angry off a blowout. There's no way you're beating it. All right, now it's the road and the conditions. It's the grass. Once we beat the Bills on grass on the road, it's going to be one last thing. They're going to shift to the playoffs. They're going to go to their, well, you won't win in the division. This is the last, this is the last infinity stone, the field. They don't know what to do with our team. They don't know what to do with us. Opposing fans, like I'm watching national media scramble every day. Scramble every day. I said, look, Colin Cowherd came home. Dak is good. Very good. I know, Colin. We've been over here. Welcome home. Some of the other national media don't want to give it up. You listen to speak. Um, I hate to give them any type of acknowledgement, but you know what I'm saying? Joy Taylor and, and, and LaShawn McCoy and stuff like that. They got their hate. And that is what it is. It's just, it's just part of the game. You know what I'm saying? But they can't say nothing bad about the football. So they always got to shift to the, what they're going to do in the divisional. Just got to do it with me. Just push it out. The divisional, keep pushing out them. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't do nothing with what's happening right now. What's right in front of you. You ain't got nothing you can say about it. But it's just shocking that we keep knocking down these expectations, knocking down these so-called challenges. And we'll knock this one down this week too. We'll make a big statement this week. And it's not that the Bills are the most amazing team. Remember, remember, they're six and seven. Or seven and six. Seven and six, I believe. I'm sorry. Um, so it's not that they've had the greatest season, but they are dangerous. And Josh Allen still is one of the better quarterbacks in this league when he's on. He's also one of the worst quarterbacks when he's off. So I want to talk to you all about something else that's more specific. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me let me get to it. We're going to talk about Josh Allen versus Dak Prescott because that's what this is going to come down to. Who you believe in more? Who's playing better? And they're extremely close right now. Extremely close right now. It's not. It's 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 it's, it's surprising. I'll put it on the screen. Um, you're talking about season comparison: 69.3 completion percentage for Dak, 66.9 for Josh. Then you got 3,505 yards for Dak, 344 7 yards for Josh, pass yards. Then you go total touchdowns. Josh has 35 because, you know, he, he gets to rushing. Dak has two rushing touchdowns, but he also has 28 passing. He leads the league in passing. Josh has more rushing. Um, but then you got the thing that nobody want to talk about. And this is why I think the rubber meets the road because everything else is fairly close. You know, everybody's going to say, well, what about those five touchdowns for Josh Allen? Now look at the other thing. Is now what's about what about how much better Dak is playing quarterback than Josh? More wins, which I know wins on a quarterback stat, but he's leading his team better. He has seven turnovers this year. Josh has seventeen. Leads the league in interceptions. I don't know if he leads the league in turnovers. I don't know about the fumbles, but he definitely leads the league in interceptions. Last year that was a big thing. No one talks about it no more. It's like. Not a thing. Passer rating, he's 12 points higher. 12, and he's better in QBR. If you want to do that, that's your thing. If QBR is your thing. He's on a 25 to 2 touchdown run. 107.5 passer rating to 93. Josh Allen is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He can be anybody. But you know what really tips him another scale? Pressure. Their offensive line ain't ready for ours. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about how we will beat the Bills. But today, I wanted to talk about just the fact that I feel like the Bills fans are a little scared. I feel like that, that confidence is a little shaken. I feel like national media is praying that the Bills can beat us. And I feel like it's all for naught. We're about to come into, come into whatever their stadium's name is, Hyde Park or something like that. 
and put the whole league on more notice. We're going to have Miami shook. Because the thing that I thought last week, that the thing that really separated our teams, our team versus another team's, was the fact that our offense is balling. But they kept thinking the shoe was going to drop. The offense is going to fall off. You know, but what I did, what people didn't realize is this, this team was built on defense. This whole year, everybody kept saying, what's the defense going to do? Well, the defense last week didn't allow an offensive touchdown to one of the better offenses in the league is what I heard. One of the best quarterbacks in the league is what I heard. The defense came to play. They accepted that challenge and got it done. They got another challenge. Josh Allen is a challenge. He's a house. This ain't going to be no easy task. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying we will get it done, whatever we got to do. But I can challenge you to this. The only other team that you could probably mention with the Cowboys right now is most complete is the 49ers. Maybe the Ravens if you squint. But I feel like our offense is way better than the Ravens. Yes, including Lamar Jackson. But when we're clicking on all cylinders, there's only one other team you can mention with us. And we will talk about that when we get to it. We got to earn that. As of right now, the Bills fans are scared because they're focusing on the weather. They ain't talking about players. They ain't talking about defense, offense. They talking about they can't play in this weather. You afraid. It's just like last week when Philly went for that fake, fake punt. I said, oh, no. They scared. Bills fans are scared. In national media. Y'all can get on y'all knees. Y'all can pray. Ain't nothing going to save you. I holler.